Hey kids, welcome back to another video. My name is Blue and I'm headed to Japan. I'm finally going with my sister and best friend of all people. I am so excited. I have literally not packed a single thing because I just came back home from the club. But that means that now I have literally an hour and I've packed zilch, zero, nothing. But it's okay, we'll figure it out. A few moments later. Hello. Hello. We're now at LAX, we are waiting for a flight, and we already have a full day plan. Like, we're gonna go to the fish market early, early, early in the morning, because we're arriving at 5.30 in the morning. And then we have a sushi making class. 1 p.m. 1 p.m., oh, okay, yeah. So, come on, we're <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go, 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 but the next time I see y'all, we're gonna be in Japan, and it's so exciting. It's gonna be a brand new day. Super excited to bring y'all along with me, but we'll see you soon. We just landed, everyone's already getting up and trying to leave. I'm gonna sit my ass down until the lane is clear, but y'all look. The plane right next to us has Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, like girl, we are in Japan. It's already been really crazy, okay? I'm still at the airport. It's been like three hours since I landed, but I almost didn't get in. I have a busted ass passport. They were really interrogating me and asking me what I was doing, and I was like, I'm just a girl. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. Yay! Stephanie's here. We're in Japan. Um, what have you done so far? Hey, this is so cute. Um, I bought this last time. I almost get arrested. Like, we all got ready, a little beat, changed outfits, and now we are going to Shinagawa Station. Shinagawa Station. We're going to the fish market. We're gonna stop by our Airbnb, and then we also have our sushi making class today. So it's a jam-packed morning already. at the Tsukiji market. It's already packed and busy. Everyone recommends us to go like at 7 a.m. right when they open, but because we got here, I was almost detained and <laughs> the subway was a little confusing. We're here, it's 9.30 or so, but it's packed already. We just started going down one street and I've already seen uni, I've seen ragu. Tuna. Wait, I also like, want to like. Oh, an oyster shot. Oh, with whiskey. Oh, oh an oyster shot. I, wait, I'm gonna do it. I just want y'all to know this is the first thing that I'm eating, and I think it just makes a lot of sense that it's oyster and whiskey. Because if you don't know me, I'm a whiskey girl through and through. First meal of the day. Oyster and whiskey. Come on. And so yes. you said pour a little bit of the whiskey into the oyster, and then you just shoot it. I've done oyster shots before, but that was incredible. So yeah. fresh, massive, the brininess from the oyster, and they weren't lying. This whiskey is strong. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Next up on our food tour, I got some grilled oyster. No, just kidding, grilled scallop. I got unagi on a stick, <laughs> and we're gonna cheers. cheers. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Bun. Oh, good, good. Just perfection. Mm -hmm. What can I say? <laughs> Girl, the scallops, the shrimp, the lobster, the crab, everything looks so good. A few years ago, when I lived in San Francisco, I thought I had a bad <gasps> allergic reaction, and my allergist was like, I think you're developing a shellfish allergy. So far, that it hasn't been true, but oh my god, thank god, because this would have been someone's worst nightmare. We are at our second location and I got a salmon and tuna bowl. Salmon, tuna, and ikara. And Hiller and I got the same thing. So there's minced tuna, salmon, and tuna. Ooh, can't wait to dive in. It's so soft, it's so fresh. And this is some random place we found. We didn't even like look it up or anything. Yeah, and there's so many other places. That have like similar menus. Mm. So good. So good. Wow. Grilled scallops. Wow. First reactions. <laughs> it's good. Cheers. Mmm. Wow, this is incredible. It's buttery, 
It's tender, it's so soft, it's so flavorful. Mm. We are at the popular strawberry mochi place. They have all these different types of mochis and strawberries and these fresh white strawberries. All right, so this is where we are. Look how pretty they are, they're so cute. We got the strawberry and the white strawberry tangwalu. We got a peach mochi, the matcha daifuku. First bite. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's, I can't like half bite it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> the strawberry is like so juicy. <laughs> the strawberry is so juicy. The matcha is so creamy. It's so nice. And the mochi's texture is so perfect. Tangaroo time. Taking a bite of the white strawberry. Mmm! Wow! That white strawberry is good, bitch. Damn. I literally have rice powder all over my camera. And if I was in LA, this would look very suspicious. This is the peach and the whipped cream mochi. Mmm! Mmm! Okay. Mmm, yummy. Suspicious. I think my favorite is the tangolu, tafuku, and the mochi. But I love everything so much. We're not a pizzeria, we are not a bar. We actually are a spice importer. Have you ever had a black pepper that are not dried fresh? No. I am going to change three no's from LA to three yes. Yeah! Fresh, oh, just salted black peppers. Okay. Wow, okay, cool. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. 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 Wait, I thought it was gonna be hard. Me too. Mm. You like it? That's crazy, it's so good. Don't mind if I do. I'm like flattering us mm. <laughs> I love pepper, like I love so pepper. Lovely. And now we have the chorizo, cheese, and mushroom with fresh black pepper toast. And I'm so excited to try it. I'm gonna finish my piece. <laughs> that is good. The mushrooms are a great touch. The chorizo is so good. And of course, on this like sweet bread. Mm. Man of the hour. This is Mr. Pepper. <laughs> Mr. Pepper. And then we have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm sold. I bought the peppers. I ate the entire toast. Girl, I gave this man a hug. I DM'd him saying I loved him. I literally think I have become a better human being after having that fresh black pepper. I think I've evolved as a specimen. I literally can't rave about it more. We just finished the Sakiji Market. We topped everything off with the Peppers Cafe. It was definitely my favorite experience. I just love learning about why people do what they love to do, especially when it comes to food and restaurants. It's noon. We've been up since 5.30 in the morning when we land. My tummy is full, but I'm ready to make some sushi and eat it. We'll see you there. Made it to the sushi place. It's in this cute little alley. Right here, right here. As y'all know, my mom has a sushi and ramen restaurant. However, I really wanted to learn from a true sushi chef in Japan. So I think this is the perfect opportunity. And the fact that we're doing this day one, like it's just gonna be a really fun thing to do. And we get to eat it. I'm really full, but I'm gonna, if I see sushi in my face, I will eat it. Okay, and then. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay, and uh, Minecraft, focus on got our ingredients, this is what we're gonna use to make our sushi. Make it bowl shape in your right hand. <laughs> I got a very good very, very, <laughs> Yes, very good. Pick up wasabi, just a little bit, dry your right hand index finger, and paste the wasabi on the fish in the middle. A little higher, a little higher on your first. Oh yes, that way. Very good. Then, let's go to the slight curve shape. And you can change your fingers. Push top and push side. Please drop your sushi on your plate. He said mine looks high level. I love it, I love it. Yes. Start from center a bolt shape. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is our you. 
Now we're gonna use your right hand in the finger. Later, later, no. Okay. <laughs> take your rice wider and flatter. Oh, beautiful, very good. Good job. A little sticking out. Stop again by your left hand. By your left hand thumb. Take a cone shape. That way. Good job. Beautiful. Okay. There's my hand roll. This is a hand roll. She's looking a little floss and I'm not gonna lie. Right center to left center. I don't know my left and right. <laughs> Wider and flatter. Just on the beach and just to the halfway. Keep the ingredients inside carefully and then Go along and then please stop once the edge of CV cut together. This is step one. And then let check open your makisu. Very good, good job. How do you saw the art? Oh, oh, I made a star. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I don't even like wasabi. This is my sushi platter that I bought. And then I have a little wasabi oh, star. I'm not gonna lie, I did pretty damn well. Oh, oh my god, I'm so hungry again. I can't wait to eat. I know, I'm hungry too. At first, I was like, I'm so I know, but after doing all this work, girl, it was. Okay. We got tempura with some yeah. mochi sauce. Yeah. Miso, miso soup, thank yeah. you. This is our miso soup. Miso and soup. this is our lunch. Uh, some restaurant still. Yeah, so, uh, 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 it's good. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good soup. Good soup. Good soup. Good soup. Yes. Now I'm working in the military. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seven days. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Mm -hmm. So I have chicory. <laughs> It's been a few hours. We got to our Airbnb. We took a little break. Hillary and Steph took a little nap. Let me tell y'all how well the sushi making class went. It was so cute. We learned the art of making different types of sushi, so it was really, really fun and very interactive. And the food was so good. Obviously, we made it ourselves, but the fish, everything was such high quality. And they gave us some tempura and miso soup. That was like literally the best miso soup I've ever had. Shout out Kazuki. He was our chef master, sushi enthusiast, historian, girly pop. All the above, but we love him. Now we're going to Drunk Alley. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're trying to get fucked up. All right, I see y'all there. Like Piss Alley, Drunk Alley. I'm not too sure what it's called. Okay, it could be either Drunk Alley or Piss Alley. I'll let y'all know when I get there. We're on our way to the alleyway, but we did take a slight little detour to Uniqlo, and I spent like a lot of money. So if y'all want a haul of everything I bought afterwards, let me know because. Girl, how is it my first day and I already spent like damn near $300? We made it to the alleyway. Damn, it is so pretty. Like it's genuinely such a pretty little walkway. A lot of restaurants, a lot of foreigners. I mean, girl, me too, but like, you know what I mean? So we're at a yakitori place. Dr. is sort of fire. Mm. Oh, this isn't a scallop, it's a, like a meatball. Yeah. I wonder if it's chicken. Mm. I love his screw replies. It reminds me of Queens. You can always get a really good skewer in Queens. Oh, everything that we've had, really good texture, really good price. The sauce is really good. They cooked it perfectly. So many people in my vlog, my comments are like, Lou, I cannot watch your vlogs because you eat the most delicious looking food. Carrie <laughs> Ann says that to me too. <laughs> She's like, dude, you're always eating so yeah. good. Yeah. No, I'm so happy because when I was in like Japan like a couple months ago, I felt like I did more of like the sightseeing and I wasn't hungry because of like the heat and stuff. So I didn't get to try as many foods as I wanted to, but now I feel like today. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we had so much. You're kidding. You're kidding. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
And then I saved the best for last. And let me know if y'all are tuna or salmon girlies. I'm a salmon girly. Them two are tuna girlies, but I feel like that's always like the uh, age old debate tuna or salmon. But why are we putting two bad bitches against each other? Oh, thank you. We got the shellfish and something. But it looks like good soup. At this point, I know y'all are just gonna get so sick and tired of all the food I'm eating. I hope you're grabbing a plate, eating with me. This is unintentionally turned into a mukbang. Shrimp skewers, croquette, I was good. Good morning, Tokyo. It's day two and this is my outfit for today. I actually just got, honestly, most of this from Unicuro. Like this jacket. I got this heat tech because it's a little chillier than I thought. And then I got this bag. And girls, I get it with the Uniqlo bag because this shit fits everything. It's a Mary Poppins bag to me, but we're headed to the Mario Kart experience. We're running a little late, we're not gonna lie, but I'm super excited about this. I've been hyping it up for so long. I've also been loving the brown eyeliner recently, so I don't really know what that's about, but she's gonna stay so we are past the 15 minute grace period so we're not doing mario kart right now however they're kind enough to let us come back at 1 30 which honestly works out perfectly for us because we are starving so i think i'm gonna get a quick little snack at the Convini, which is the convenience store and girl like the convenience stores here slay boots down i think we're gonna head over to suzukian which is a matcha place and they have really good matcha gelato ice cream y'all know i'm gonna try the most premium one but we're gonna do that walk around a little bit maybe go to a little temple and then at 1 15 early this time we're gonna head over to mario kart hopefully it doesn't rain by then but stay tuned all right the microphone is absolute fucking booty cheeks the audio sucks ass so i'm gonna just do a voiceover and basically recap what i was talking about but i was like oh my god it's so pretty here the kimonos everyone's dressed up so nicely oh man it's so gloomy but it kind of adds to the ambience don't you think stephanie stephanie goes yes wow so beautiful it's so pretty i feel like i'm right out of a movie wow gorgelina and then what else do i talk about here oh and then we ran into this incense thing where stephanie told me that if i breathed it in i would get gluck and honestly the way that 2024 has been so far i'm gonna need it so I was just sniffing a lot here. I, you know, it's kind of weird to add the sound effects now, but for this video, I will. I was like, <laughs> it sounds so snotty. I was uh, gasping, sniffing, huffing and puffing, everything to try to get the good luck. I was even rubbing the shit on me because I saw some people wafting it and then rubbing it on them. So I did that. Next, we went to this like fortune thing where you you shake out from this container a little fortune you get a stick that corresponds with your fortune and then you find oh, oh, oh just kidding just kidding just kidding before we did all of that we stopped at this watering hole where people drink water for good luck i'm not sure but there was this fountain and it looked really nice okay now we're doing the fortune thing where we shake our asses for a fortune and stephanie got a really good luck fortune i don't remember exactly what her fortune read but it was good luck so good for her the audio completely cut out for hillary's but she also got a really good luck fortune and we'll say she gets good luck and money and bad bitches coming to her way i don't remember and then here's me <laughs> Is it the same one you got? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, I got this one. Regular fortune! <laughs> Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you're down bad, a crescent moon will be full gradually so you should wait the chance it is so hard to get a chance in fortune like to hunt the deer in a deep valley but with the but with the of a great person with honor the deer will shoot and give in to you then everything starts going so well you can get job and income later social fame together okay <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the lost you at the, the deer. And okay, okay, there's translations basically. It says, your request will be granted. Though it takes a little time, the patience will get well. The lost article will be hard to find out. The parson you wait for will come, but it might take some time. Building a new house and removal are both well. To start a trip, all, to start a trip is all safe. Marriage and employment are both well. 
I will claim the marriage, but the employment I will claim. <laughs> adorable so hillary and i are moving into a new apartment very very soon hopefully but we're like looking at home decor but look how cute these are little chopstick holders you got the qp mayo so cute stephanie has a little crane in her hand this may be a tourist trap but i'm trapped look at this hello kitty wearing a kimono it is so cute i actually want like a little plushie like this to put on my new bag that i got from uniqlo but we're gonna go shopping later today so hopefully i can find something then but oh my god i'm so obsessed with all of these Ooh, some food stuff wait i want to look i want to look so y'all know i'm a big ingredients girl even though i haven't cooked in a long time but like these this is only like things you could get i feel like when you're here so I might as well get one of these, but you know me, you know that I love yuzu or citrusy flavors. So I'm grabbing some yuzu salt, I'm getting some yuzu shichimi, and then they have this yuzu kosher, kosher, which is yuzu peel, chili peppers, and salt. So I have all three of these. Ooh. Now to think about it, I think I have seen some of these in the States, but the fact that I got it in Japan just means something different. So these are the three that I'm getting. Also this lighting kind of doing me favors oh my god look at this sailor moon yeah <laughs> it literally says in the name of the moon i'll punish you <gasps> i would want the mars cat i love sailor mars she was my girl my babes i re-watched the anime recently and her personality is kind of annoying but like still she serves kind more than any bitch so i know that's right me <laughs> That's what people say about me on Big Brother. They're like, Blue's a little annoying, but she's really pretty. <laughs> she serves. I was like, all right, I'll take it. Finally in Mario Kart. We were not late this time, quite early. We're picking out our outfits. Stephanie's already gotten her Charizard. Hillary's gonna be Kurumi. And now I need to think about what I wanna be. Oh my god, the piglet reminds me of um, the pig costume for Big Brother. LOL. <laughs> There's Stitch and Boo and the aliens. I'll be Doraemon. Alright, we're changing into our onesie. And it's cold, so we have a jacket. Should I be a minion? As I'm like putting this on already. I kind of want to be a minion. Hold on, let me put this on and see what happens. The category is <laughs> Cunty Pokemon. Giving like Patrick getting ready. <laughs> Change my mind. I'm actually gonna be the minion. Cute! <laughs> Cute! Now I gotta button her up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot more. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. I cannot believe I am literally driving in the middle of Japan as a minion. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So we can't use our phone except on red lights. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm vlogging. What else would I be doing? But girls, if you come to Japan, you have to do this. We literally have only been doing this for like 10 minutes and I'm having the time of my fucking life. <laughs> I wish I had a banana so I could throw it at people. But that would be very irresponsible. Just my intrusive thoughts speaking. We made it! We made it to Akihabara! Woo! I got ditched! I'm by myself! I got ditched! I got ditched! With rain bouncing on my face. But it's okay, they're right over there, I see them. <laughs> Everyone's been waving at us and taking pictures of us. It's kind of cute. It's kind of endearing, but in like a very touristy way. My dumbass wanted to be cute and wear the other sunglasses, but now I'm getting pelted. And it's, it hurts to open my eyes. I'm literally getting pelted by the fucking rain. Ooh, I am drenched. It was fun. Uh, Lord. Dude, and being the last person, I kept getting caught in the lights. I was like, God damn it, not again. If someone had driving anxiety, they'd be fucked. Yeah, I'm so glad it was. Dude, I'm so glad it was a you. I was telling the I was like, I'm glad it was a you. I know, I was glad it was you. Ten out of ten, water. Ow! We finished the Mario Kart experience, and it was the craziest experience of my life. I would highly, highly recommend it. It, it was so fun. Definitely gonna be the most memorable for sure. Now we have some time to kill before we go to our Wagyu dinner, all you can eat. I'll see y'all once we get in there.
All right, y'all, before I eat, let me give you a rundown of what's happening. So we ordered all off of our phones and then we also got the all you can drink. So there's like a whole self-service bar. I made myself a cutie little yuzu and lychee cocktail and it's delicious, but I'm starving. I'm gonna chow down, but I'm not gonna be filming. I'm hungry. Oh my God, unlimited wagyu is insane. I forgot to film an outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, a lot has changed since that vlog has been shot, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, like, leave a little comment down below, and stay tuned for the next videos. I have so much content from this whole trip, so I'm really excited to share that with y'all, but love y'all. Bye.